Thursday. Going on, Sam. And it's I've done a little boxing. I'm overdue. 43 degrees. The pain is 704. Like it was like a weekend. It's only Thursday. I don't know how your day's going. It's going good. It's a horn. If not, see if you can get happy. I'm gonna try to get happy. I'm on. Want you to be happy. Got a good show for you today. Got an unboxing. I haven't done one of those in a minute. You know, the hard thing about doing an unboxing is um. <laughs> I got boxes of stuff that I haven't opened yet because I want to open it up on the show. How you doing, Rob? <laughs> so I'm like, man, some of the stuff I really need to get to and use. So it's like, all right, let me let me get this unboxing going. Let me get this unboxing going so I can put this thing into action. So today we have a new camera added to the conduit. <laughs> Oh, it's the Nikon Z30 mirrorless camera bundle uh, with the Nikon Z DX 16 to 50 millimeter uh, VR zoom lens. Uh, this comes with a one year warranty, a rechargeable battery, a camera strap, and the lens body. And this retails for $796. It is a 20.9 megapixel camera, it does have a live view feature on it three-time optical zoom. It has a USB and HDMI. Uh, the screen size is three inches, which is great because uh, I wear glasses, so I need to be able to see as much as I can. So that is very helpful. So let's go ahead and get on over to it there. Turn my other mic up here so y'all can hear me. And it looks like I'm going to need to zoom in a little bit of, on this camera here. Bam, bam. All right, let me turn you a little bit there. A little bit, we're a little out of focus, ain't we? 
Now, I haven't used this camera in a long time. This is actually my kitchen camera. So this is the camera that sits over my stove now. And, uh, you know, you a little blurry camera. I don't know what's going on with you. All right, you a little bit better. You a little bit better. All right. So this is the Z30, the Nikon. So look at some reviews here. This is a, a pretty new camera. The other thing we're going to get into is the new lens, which is awesome. Uh, really excited about this lens here. And so we'll get into that. This is the Viltrox wide angle lens, 13 millimeters. So what's great about this is a close range. You can get a nice wide view. So we'll open, we'll connect both, right? This one actually comes with the lens inside. Uh, so we'll look at both lenses today as we get into it. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. Toys, toys, toys. All right. Little bag for the camera. Warranty information. Uh, you know, warranty, manufacturer stuff. All right. So here is our HDMI cable, right? So we've got the micro uh, USB here. I'll put that off to the side. And then we have our C cable. Okay. Boom, boom. And there's our battery. Just a regular rechargeable battery, you know. I would definitely recommend getting one or two more of these if you're going to be using these, especially in the field for long periods of time. And you might need to switch it out. The last thing you want to do is lose uh, your camera battery in the middle. So this is the lens that it comes with here. And this is a pretty good lens. Do try to keep your protection on your lenses when they're not in use, right? Keeps them from getting scratched, keeps dust from accumulating on there. And then when you get dust on there and then you get heat, you know, that can like cook onto the lens. So that's not good. And let's see. Voila. Ha ha. There is the Nikon there. Ooh, very lightweight. Feels like nothing. Like butter. All right, and this even has a lens cap, right? It's a mirrorless camera, so you want to keep that nice and clean, which is awesome. All right, here is that three inch window. Okay, so that's what we're working with here. Let me go ahead and get my box out the way. So, again, what should be in the box is the camera, right? The camera strap, which I didn't pull out because I don't. Eh, sometimes I'll put the strap on, but usually these cameras are on tripods, so I don't bother with it. But here's the strap there, okay? Uh, you've got your lens that came with it, and this is the 5 to uh, 6.3 VR zoom lens, okay? And all this comes with the one-year warranty. Your rechargeable battery, like I said before, and the strap and the lens, and, of course, the body. Again, this retails for $796 right now on Amazon. You could get lucky and find one on uh, during Black Friday, so we'll see. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and put the battery in there. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit more. Oh, that's much better, ain't it? I was too far away. That was my problem. Oh, <laughs> I know what the problem is. I've got the blurring of my background on i'm like why is the picture so bad all right now ain't that much better <laughs> sorry y'all all right so make sure if you got your blurry background on that you turn that off especially when you're switching camera angles there all right so we're gonna go ahead and pop that in boom 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 okay we're gonna go ahead and put the lens on next set it right there go ahead and pop this off Screw this off here, boom, boom, boom. You see you're gonna line up the gold to the gold here. And it's just a little twist and there's usually a little white marker that will tell you when it, when it clicks on. Be gentle, don't man it like I'm doing. There we go. All right, so we're looking good. Now, because it probably isn't charged, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to power right now. I got my handy dandy C cable here. Now, here's where your cords are going to go. We're just going to flip this open. Okay. And you'll see we have our power. 
And then we have our HDMI here. And let's go ahead and get that going. Kabow. Go ahead and put that in. All right. And now I need a little bit more room here. So let me try to get my power cord a little bit more range there. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. So we're looking good. Now, matter of fact, I want to lay this on its front. So I'm going to put this lens back on so I can lay it down on its front here. And let me do that. My camera could be my little, my candle could be my anchor there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and open up our viewfinder, okay? And, of course, we can twist it. Uh, well, let me unplug these first. We can twist it and then fold it back in so we can see it. And I'm just going to plug these back in. Pow, pow, pow. All right. Now, our power button is right here on the top. Now, I want to see how plug and play this is. So we're just going to turn it on. Okay, and you know, I'm not a big read the manual first type guy. You know, what I'm looking for is something that is super quick, super easy. When I'm in the field, uh, when, I'm, when I have help with me, I need the technology to be as simple as possible. Uh, so that is what I'm always looking for when I'm looking at technology. You know, we have the PTZ cameras that allow us to, you know, move it with the remote control or from a joystick. Uh, and so that's very helpful. If you don't have help uh, with you or if you don't have a lot of help, you can control that camera. Uh, but here we want this to be easy also, right? So you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff going on on here, All right? Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Oops. All right. So you can see there's all kinds of craziness on here. Now, the benefit of this is supposed to be you're going to get a clean HD, HDMI out, uh, so this stuff isn't going to appear on the screen, right? You don't want that on your image, so you want it to be clean, but you don't want to have to go through a whole bunch of settings in here to get it to do that. And so that's one of the things that really encouraged me and turned me on about this particular camera here. And so we're going to see how easy this is so that we can put this in the field as quickly as possible, all right? Quickly as possible. Uh, you can also see here in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see that this also has its own, it's got its onboard audio. From the reviews that I read, the audio isn't the greatest, okay? You can also see the battery is pretty dead. It needs to charge there. Okay, no, it's not the clearest there. Um, so you can use this onboard camera or, or audio, or you can add your own on there. See if I can grab one really quick to show y'all. Do, 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 yeah. And right now I'm using the Rodecaster Pro, or the Rodecaster Pro is my big audio, but I'm using my uh, Rode Wireless Go mics so that I can have a conversation with you and move about. And those are really great in the field. And those can also be used. Uh, on your camera, right? So we've got a cold shoe here, right? So we can pop on a microphone there. Uh, this is a great microphone. This is the Movo. Uh, this is great if you're gonna, you want some directional sound. Uh, this red that is set up on here is to help not have any vibration when the camera is doing its thing. So you're not hearing, you know, bumps and all those good things like that. All right. And so you would just plug this in and this would go off to the side there. And then you'd be ready to go. I'm going to take this off right now because I'm not going to use that for the audio. But let's see what we got. All right. So this is camera one, as you know, right? This is our PTZ that gives us our control with the joystick, like I said, right? And that's great because when you're by yourself, you can do your thing. All right, boom, boom, zoom in, zoom out. This is our camcorder, which we're using for our overhead uh, filming here. 
and now we're going to go and check out am i on camera too let's see let's take this lens off here and see if it's plug and play <gasps> oh look at that baby it is plug and play now if you notice now i'm going to go back to three here all right whoops go back to three as you can see right you have all you've got your viewfinder right you've got your red square box of what you're going to shoot you have all these different uh indicators here as i kind of pull up on it right but when i'm going to the live view all of that's gone and that's perfect look at how nice this camera looks this camera is beautiful it already has the autofocus set on there right beautiful absolutely love it one thing that i do want to show you that was already set here but this button here has a uh, video or camera a little blurry there video to camera oh i need a manicure don't look at that y'all but that is a good image already has the autofocus set this is what i'm looking for something that is really simple really easy uh, no matter who is with me, can set this up, and it's going to do its thing, okay? That is what I need. Now, let me see if I can find the zoom on here. No, that's not it. All right. And this is why it is good to read the manual, of course. Oh, so this is a manual zoom, right? So I got my... Little award up there. True story. Steps of success. Would like to recognize Marwan Cameron for your dedication to succeed along with your confidence in us, which has led us toward empowering students and our community. Yeah, that's one of my favorite uh, acknowledgments from my students. Okay. So now let's go ahead and switch out the lens. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the camera just sit here so you can get an idea Maybe we could get something else to look at. Let's see. What could we look at here? Maybe my cup of coffee. Mm. Ah, let's see. Zoom out. Look at that. See, and it's doing the auto zoom, which is great. Again, love that, right? See. One of my gifts from Layla, which I love. Look how clean that picture is, right? This is the PTZ, great image. This is the camcorder. You know, not bad, you know, decent. And, you know, I'm not, I don't have it dialed in to where it's focused, right? The autofocus isn't as great, right? And we're talking about a pretty big difference here, right? Again, just the stats on this. This is the Nikon Z30 mirrorless camera bundle um, with the 16 to 50, 50 millimeter lens, right? Uh, and so this is the standard lens that comes with it. You can buy it with just the body. You can do that. I wanted to have uh, the lens. The upgrade on the lens was like maybe $100 or so. And then I added this lens, which we're going to check out next. Uh, so that I can change my angles, right? So again, depending on where you're at, you know, you can put the lens on that you need. You can hit more or less of the view. And it's just, you know, just a really quick uh, solution. Also, if you know that you're going to be growing your, uh, your equipment, you know, there may be a time when I get another one of these Nikons, right? Uh, and now I can have my wide lens and then I can just have the regular lens. So I wouldn't necessarily have to buy uh, I could just get the body for the second camera because I already have two lenses, right? So I can have two different shots from two different angles, which would be awesome. Something that I am considering, okay? Uh, again, this has a one-year warranty, and this is a 20.9 megapixel camera, which is awesome, right? This has that live view. This is the live view function, which is allowing me to uh, use this camera, without having to do anything special, right? That is what is so great about this camera here. I should have left that there, just move this out the way, right? <laughs> That's what's so great about it. Let's see. Then we get something else that shows a lot of detail here, right? Pretty good. 
right? Look at look at how good that camera is. Look at that lens. Beautiful lens there. Gets all the diamonds there. All right. Oh, damn. I really do need Medicare. All right. So let's go ahead and put the other lens on there. What do you think about that camera? So far, I give it a, a double horn. Hey. I got to tell you what the double horn scale is. It's good. You know, we do need to come up with a scale. So do we do like five horns? Five out of five? How do we do it? I don't know. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take this lens off here. Oh, let me change this so you can see what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to take this lens off. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to take the turn the camera off before you change the lens. That's a that's a good question. Maybe I should. Maybe I will do that. I don't know. Oh, so I'm up here trying to crank it off. There's a button here that allows you to release, right? And I'm going to set this down. I'm going to put my lens cap back on. Very important. Do not let this sit without having your, your lens cap on, right? It takes a second to put the cap on. Keep dust out, you know? It, this could get scratched on an accident. And that would be criminal. So, you know, just put the lenses back, the caps back on, right? Do not lose those. All right, this one is a little bit beefier, as you can see. Got a nice big old lens cap. You see, you got the gold there. We're just gonna match that up. Then the front pulls off just like that there. Flip our camera to the front. And let me show you. So you got the white dot here, and you have a white dot there. I'm going to put it right, almost right on. Or, yeah, you are going to put it right on, and then you're going to twist up and lock it into place. Okay? Now I'm going to put this camera back in the exact same position as it was before. Okay? Just to show you the difference on there. We're going to turn this camera back on. And let's go ahead and change to that image. All right. So now look how much more we're getting there. And as you can see, uh, if you're looking up to the left, you can see a little bit of the uh, studio lights up there in the upper left hand corner uh, with the candle uh, mounted to the wall. You could not see all of that with that uh, with that first lens on. It. So this gives you a far broader range of you know trying to fit in a lot of, of image or space in the camera and what's great is this is only maybe four feet from the wall but it is literally getting uh i mean this is this is quite a bit all right so this let me tell you about this one here this is the uh viltrox 13 millimeter Okay, Nikon Z mount lens. This has a super wide angle autofocus APS-C lens for uh, different models, right? So this fits on the Nikon Z50, which is a fantastic camera, too expensive. The Z30, which is what we have, the Z611 and the Z711, the Z6 and the Z7. This lens is 425, 429. So this lens here costs half of what the camera costs, right? But this is a really, 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 really awesome lens here. All right, so this lens is designed uh, to format the Nikon Z mount mirrorless cameras, which is what we have. Uh, with it, you could portray anything. You can shoot environmental uh, portraits, right? Because you've got that nice wide lens, cityscapes, landscapes, architecture, and also macro photography, right? You've got that uh, bright f1.4 maximum aperture, which excels in low light conditions and also affords increased control over the depth of field for achieving a very selective focus, right? So it's really cool here. Uh, it also has an STM focus focusing motor, uh, step stepless aperture dialing. So I think that it's just doing all the work inside. Uh, I don't know what all that is. And it does support eye face detection and autofocus, which is what we saw before, right? So let me go ahead and kind of move this out the way here. And let's see how that works. I mean, look at that. I've only pulled this thing away maybe four or five inches. And look at how much more it's capturing, right? And this, this is, what an image there. It's fantastic. You can see the detail. It's wonderful. 
And now if you were to look at my hand, my hand is about eight inches long. Let me put the coffee cup exactly eight inches, right? That's about eight inches is my hand. Isn't that beautiful? That's an awesome image there. Awesome. All right. So with the minimum focusing distance of 8.6 inches, right? This is why I was demonstrating because my hand's about eight inches, right? There's an immense potential to add even more of a dynamic look to your images through simply moving your camera closer and further away from your subject, right? So that's what we're going to do now. We're at eight, six, we're at eight inches away. Getting up really close here. And just take a look at the background there, right? It's kind of doing its, uh, the blurring on its own. You can see where the coffee stains are. You know, look at that. Isn't that fantastic? That is, that's awesome. I love it. This is, uh, this camera is going to get a lot of work. This lens is going to get a lot of work, right? And again, if I don't have, if I'm not in a space where I have a PTZ, right, that only has so much of a wide angle that it can do, you know, that's great because I can go left and right with the remote, okay? So I can do that. I'm not going to have that ability to do that with this camera, but what it allows me to do is put the wider lens on there so I can capture more of a space, right? So when we were doing like the block party or uh, events, we can capture more of what's going on there. And then with the autofocus, that's just fantastic, right? Go ahead and show you this right here so you can see that. Okay. Just looking for the clarity and the focus of the image there, right? So... Good detail in my hand, still great detail on the coffee mug at the same time. Pretty cool there. All right. And a little bit farther so it's more into focus with the mug. Right. Pretty cool. All right. What do you guys think about that? I'm loving it. Super excited about this camera. You will see this camera being used uh, pretty immediately. Again, if you're looking for a plug and play option, I definitely uh, am all for the Nikon Z30. Uh, we purchased this uh, at Amazon. Let's see if I can go there and pull that up for you. But we have, uh, you know, different cameras for different things. And as we grow here on the conduit, we are doing uh, events sometimes simultaneously. We need to be in two places at once. So again, that's another reason why I need to be able to have equipment that is easy for my staff to use, right? So here we are. Now, I did consider getting this stand here as the remote. Uh, I did not do that. Uh, just here, let me see if I can zoom in. Let me enlarge this and zoom in. Tell you what I was thinking here. All right. So here we've got the Nikon Z30, uh, the content creator camera bundle with the 16 to 55 to 50 millimeter lens and the vlogger accessories, right? So if you remember... I was showing you kind of the mic there with uh, and they've got the wing guard on there. This one has a small one, but when you get the, well, I don't know what they call that thing, the cattail or whatever, that will stop a lot of the wind. Grab my coffee here. Coffee is done being a prop. I need to drink it. Mm. So this also has the remote and that would be nice, you know, to take pictures and do things like that. But I didn't really feel like spending nine forty eight, right? I, and what I paid for this camera was seven ninety six, so that was going to be, you know, basically another one hundred and fifty dollars or so. I just wasn't feeling that. Um, it wouldn't have been a bad buy, but I knew I wanted that the other lens and that Viltrox um, super wide angle lens was four hundred twenty nine dollars, and that's why I did not get this package here. If I wasn't going to get the second lens. I probably would have gotten either this package 
or this package here. And what I really like about this package is this one has a second battery, which is great, right? More batteries, the better. Uh, flash drive. And I didn't get this because I have a lot of flash drives, so I didn't need an extra flash drive. The extra battery definitely would have been it. And if you look, this is actually a little bit cheaper than that, right? Now, this is new to Amazon. This is why it doesn't have any uh, ratings yet. So this is someone else that's selling it. Now here, this is just the camera kit, right? So imagine purchasing the camera, like I said, without any lenses. So what I paid for this camera was $796 uh, with the lens, right? $796. So basically, well, what is $850? Basically, it's rounded to $850 uh, versus $800. $850. Wait, wait a minute. 850 versus 800. Oh, no, I'm tripping. Let's go down here. It, this one does come with the lens, right? 599 just for the body. And this is just renewed. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> you know that? Uh, I really did get a screaming deal, right? So without the body, without the any lenses, it's 600 by itself. So for me, it was like, okay, $200, uh, $300. Uh, well, 200 799 I, I got that first lens, right? This one here they're selling with two different lenses and this is a new seller right so i probably wouldn't purchase from a new seller but it is you know black friday time so you're going to see a bunch of new people popping up there here we have again the content creator with the accessory this would have been just fine to purchase but again i wanted that big lens right here this has two sellers right so this is the camera plus the big lens, right? And the small lens for 1174. So what they did is they put it all together. Now I could look because this might be a better deal than what I bought. So if I add the 796 plus the 429, you're talking about 1129, right? So this is $50 more, but you do get an extra battery and an extra flash drive. So this would have been a better deal for me to purchase, but I've had this camera for a couple weeks now, right? So it's closer to Black Friday. Could I try to return this camera and get this deal? Yeah, I could, and maybe I should. <laughs> I should absolutely do that. Definitely check, 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 okay? Here we got the Nikon Z30 mirrorless camera with the 16 to 50 millimeter, right? That's the small one. And then we've got the big lens here. And what else? Looks like we got quite a few lenses up here. And this is one person. So you'll see, uh, especially during Black Friday, people will switch their bundles out, you know, and add different things and take different things away to try and encourage you to buy them. I, I don't really have a big use to have all the, you know, the lenses that kind of put a purple hue on there or the gray. You know, the camera bag would have been awesome, right? So I I would appreciate that. I actually have kind of the air blower and the little duster, the little dun, uh, dust cleaner. But having two lenses and the big lens, okay, that's a pretty awesome deal. This one might seem a little too good to be true. I'm a little concerned about that with no, uh, only one rating, only one seller. So... I I might be a little wary of that. I like to see at least a few, you know, double digits, typically higher double digits. But this is also a new camera. So if we look and we scroll, you are not going to see like, uh, you know, 2000 reviews, right? Because it is new. But there are a lot of people getting in the game here looking to sell it uh, kind of cheap. So now I could buy this separately. And this is the, let's click into this. So this is $69, right, as a standalone. And so let's see what this does. And then you can get it for the Canon, the Nikon, or the Sony, which is awesome. And so this says infrared technology does require some batteries. Uh, this is a wireless shutter release. And it shows you what cameras it's compatible with. The remote control and tripod are detachable. The remote control can be installed on the handle or used as a remote control alone. So I like that, especially if you're holding it and you're kind of walking uh, and capturing images, right? As a wireless remote, its remote control distance is 30 millimeters and 98 feet. Wow, okay. 
that's pretty good. Uh, please note that when you pair it, uh, make sure your camera drive mode is to remote mode. Okay, you can manually change the shooting direction. You can adjust to use uh, the angle you want. Parallel direction, up 45 degrees, down 45 degrees. Okay, left and right, you can rotate 360 degrees. Rotate to a 90 uh, degree lock. So now this might actually be worth the purchase. Now my only concern with this here is I actually, no, so this one here, let's see, let me quick reading this. Uh, also, it has stable without shaking. When used as a tripod, the bottom is equipped with a non-slip pad, which can increase the friction with the supporting surface, which is stable and does not shake during shooting, ensuring a clear picture. So I actually have a motorized AI mount, which can track your movement and turn with you. One is very smooth. Uh, that has the camera that's built in. The other one, you actually screw a camera on top of it, and that one is a lot more jerky. Uh, so I would be very, I would have to test this out to see how smooth it is, right? You wouldn't want an image where if you're looking at me here, let me switch. You wouldn't want it looking like this, right, when it's moving. You want it to just, just be a smooth pan. And so the one that I have, I have one, and you don't see me use it pretty much at all, just because of that issue, right? So I'm a little concerned about that. Maybe if I was in a narrow spot and it was only gonna move just slightly left and right, that could work, but I would need to test this to see if I was really feeling this or not, okay? Now you can get the extra battery, the charger. Uh, sometimes it's better to price these things separate because you can get a deal on them or you can get them together. And sometimes, you know, you may get something and, and it works good for you for a minute and then you decide, you know what, I really do need the stand or I really do need the extra battery or I do need a 128 gig, uh, gigabit uh, scan disk. This is a pretty good deal, I think, you know. And then you can just add as you need, right? Don't feel like you need to just go out and buy everything uh, and just create a perfect solution because oftentimes... Even I'm guilty of this. I'll, I'll over-purchase, and I don't need what I have, right? Sorry about that, guys. We probably don't need the music, do we? So he's showing the range on it, right? And so for me, I would like to see how smooth is that camera when it's being uh, controlled by the remote. Is it smooth or is it jerky? So he's pairing it. Okay, awesome, I like that. All right, so that... That didn't show us, so that also kind of gives me some pause, right, as to how effective that is. Ooh, I got 10 things in my cart. I wonder what's in my cart. <laughs> I'm not going to go into my cart. I always got, like, stuff in my cart as a wish list. All right, so as a recap, that is the Nikon Z30 mirrorless camera bundled with the Nikon ZD6 or DX 16 to 50 millimeter lens that comes with the camera. Right, the lens that is on there is the Viltrox 13 millimeter uh, lens. This is a super wide angle. This lens retails for $429 here, but it does come with the standard lens if you pay a little extra, which is what I did. I paid $796 to get this lens included. You can also just buy the body for about $100, $150 cheaper than that. Black Friday is coming up. So do check out Amazon and some other places to see if you can get some deals. Uh, as you can see, I saw some deals where it looks like I could have purchased this cheaper if I waited. Um, do kind of keep in mind, you may not need to get extra. Also, as I was saying before, let me go ahead and put the cat back on there.
what is nice is you get all of your control here. So you can change your aperture, you can uh, change your f-stop, do all these really cool things. It's all on screen. And while you're doing it, none of that actually shows. And I can't show you because I got the lens cap on, so it's black. But none of that actually shows on the image to the outside, right? Let me go ahead and show it just so you can see it, right? So this is one of the things that I really love. I've got the Canon M50, which is a very antiquated camera. It's got a good enough picture and all that, which is great, right? So that is the lens. But you don't see all of that stuff on there, right? All of that goodness, which is really fantastic. So for the price point, this is a really good camera. Again, if you're thinking about just starting out in podcasting, you don't even need all that. You can use your smartphone. You know, uh, one of the cameras that I use a lot is my, what are we on? The 14. This is the 13. This is the 12, right? Still waiting on my uh, 14 to come and it's purple. So, you know. Got to add that one to it. What I love about the cell phone, uh, now that we are... Oh, who's texting me? All right. What's great about the cell phone, and with everything being Mac, I can just airdrop. So if I'm recording video here, I just airdrop it, you know, and then I go ahead and use whatever editing software I have. Go ahead and do it that way. Of course, you know, there is editing software on tablets and your cell phones. But again, even though I have the biggest screen, this is still really tiny for me. I'm old. I feel better actually having a big screen and the keyboard and the mouse to do my edits and whatnot. But uh, you can edit straight from the phone. So I like that flexibility of being able to do that. I love that the devices all talk to each other. And that's another reason why I like it to be a little bit easier that way so anyway that is the unboxing i haven't done that in a while so i've been missing out i have a few more boxes underneath the table here i uh, don't know if i'm gonna do an unboxing today uh got a few things that i'm getting into uh some pretty exciting things scheduled for today i may come on and do another show uh i am um i definitely want to do a, another show that i think is really important so uh do subscribe like and share we are at the conduit super easy let me go ahead and flash that on there we're at the conduit subscribe like and share and also if you have not got the notification i just had someone reach out to me this morning and say hey where's the conduit you haven't been doing shows and it's like uh i did two shows yesterday <laughs> so i had to uh just recommend that they unsubscribe resubscribe and then hit the notification bell and say you want all notifications okay I probably do anywhere between seven to 10 shows a week. So if they're not popping up for you, then yeah, it, I'm getting shadow banned. So unshadow banned. All right, y'all. I am Armand Cameron. This is The Conduit. This was the unboxing. Have a good Thursday. Weekend's almost here. Black Panther. Oh, actually, Black Panther.